Hello friends. Welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you class eChopper, its working operation and way. Before I discuss class eChopper, in my previous video, I have already explained class A, class B, class C and class D chopper. In which class A and class B having one quadrant operation and class C and class D having two quadrant operation. Whereas class E chopper having all four quadrant operation. So it is very interesting to know how class E chopper work in all four quadrant. The class E chopper is work in all four quadrant. That is why it is also called four quadrant chopper. The class E chopper is the parallel combination of two class C chopper. This is the circuit diagram of class E chopper or type E chopper and this is the VI plane of class E chopper. In the circuit diagram, for supply, here we use a battery having voltage VDC. In the circuit diagram, here we use four chopper CH1, CH2, CH3 and CH4. 4 diode D1, D2, D3, D4. At the load side, here we use a inductor L and load resistance RL. This is the reference direction of output current. If the direction of output current is same as reference direction, we consider it as positive. And the output voltage is calculated from here. This is positive and this is negative. Now, this is the VI plane of class E chopper. Class E chopper work in four coordinate. Four coordinate means in first, second, third as well as fourth coordinate. When it is work in first coordinate, the output voltage is positive and current is also positive. When it is work in second coordinate, output voltage positive but current negative. When it is work in third coordinate, both output voltage and current is negative. And it is work in fourth coordinate, output current is positive, but output voltage this time is negative. The class E chopper, as we know the combination of two chopper, two class C chopper. So the combination of chopper CH1, CH2 and diode D1, D2 make one class C chopper. And other is made from class and other is made from chopper CH3, CH4, D3 and D4. Now let us see the working of class E chopper. First quadrant operation of class E chopper. When the device work in first quadrant, chopper CH1 and CH2 are switched on simultaneously. All the components are switched off. So, we get the circuit like this when CH1 and CH2 is switched on. So, the current flow through VDC throws chopper CH1. This time inductor will charge with polarity positive and negative. Current flow through CH2, K and again VDC. This is the path of the current. Here, this direction of current is same as the reference direction of current. So, we can say that the current is positive and the output voltage across load is also positive. So, we can say that the device work in first coordinate. Here we see device work in first coordinate when CH1 and CH2 is turned on simultaneously. Now, the fourth coordinate operation. In fourth coordinate, Chopper CH1 and CH2 are switched off this time and inductor release it energy. When inductor release it energy, we know that inductor change its polarity. It means this terminal is negative and this is positive this time. Current again flow through inductor load D3 through VDC and D4 and again F or inductor L. This time here we see the polarity of voltage across load is negative but the direction of current is same as the reference direction. 
ऑफ करें सो वी कैन से दैट वेन डी थ्री एंड डी फोर इज टर्न ऑन एंड सी एच वन एंड सी एच टू इज टर्न ऑफ द डिवाइस वर्क इन फोर्थ क्वारेंट इन दिस टाइम आउटपुट करेंट इज पॉजिटिव बट आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज नेगेटिव वेन सी एच थ्री एंड सी एच फोर आर स्विच ऑन द डिवाइस वर्क इन थर्ड क्वारेंट एंड वी गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ सर्किट हियर द करेंट फ्लो थ्रो supply voltage vdc through ch3 load this time inductor charge with polarity positive and negative and current flow through ch4 and again negative vdc this time here we see the direction of current is opposite to the reference current direction and the output voltage is also negative so we can say that when current is negative and output voltage is also negative we can say that the device work in third quadrant now in second quadrant operation when chopper ch3 and ch4 are switched off and diode d1 and d2 are switched on this time inductor release it energy when inductor release it energy polarity across inductor is reverse that is this terminal is positive this time and this is negative so the current flow through node g load inductor d1 vdc and through diode d2 and again node g so here we see the path of the current or the direction of the current is re is reverse or negative as compared to the reference direction of current and this time output voltage is positive so if output current is negative and output voltage is positive we can say that the device work in second quadrant now the key points the dc supply is short circuited if chopper ch1 and ch4 or chopper ch2 and ch3 is simultaneously switched on when the chopper work in first and third quad the output voltage is always less than the input voltage resulting it is a step down chopper similarly when the chopper work in second and fourth quadrant the output voltage is always greater than the input voltage resulting it is a step up chopper so guys thank you for watching this video for more videos please like subscribe and share my channel